Hey, welcome to a new episode, everyone. It's nice to see you. I was just uh, doing some farming. Would you like to join me? Welcome to Empires, everyone. I'm Princess Gem, and this is my sun-themed empire. So far, we have just sort of stumbled here by chance and are trying to figure out where we belong and what our destiny is. We know that there are 12 empires, and we know that the dragon in the end is missing. We also know that below my empire lies a very dark and mysterious area. And so, we have a lot of work to do. Let's get into the episode, shall we? Between episodes, I've been here at my docks doing a little bit of fishing, and as you can see, I've actually gotten some fairly good items. Look at this bow! We've also got a saddle, a name tag, and this really epic book. Who knew fishing could be so productive? I've learned a ton from the sheriff's bravery in the last episode, and so I decided to take on mining again. This time, I avoided the darkness and managed to keep towards the upper caves. I still, however, managed to find a diamond. Luckily, I've now got five beautiful shiny diamonds, which happens to be the exact amount that I need for a diamond pick and an enchanting table. An enchanting table just requires some leather from the cows at the barn and also some paper from the sugar cane we've been growing down here. There we go. Luckily, we've got tons of leather. Look at that. Thank you, cows. The bees have also been really busy and we have so much honeycomb produced. Ah, this barn was such a good idea. Now we'll just need to craft up some books and some bookshelves. Let's see, we've got lots of books. And then we need our diamonds. Oh, I almost forgot. We need obsidian, of course. Uh, where am I gonna get obsidian? I'll just put these things in here for now. I didn't see any big lava pools when I was underground with Jimmy, so I guess my next best bet is to go exploring a bit and see if I can find some above ground lava. Shouldn't be too difficult, I got this. Oh, here's an abandoned portal, this is perfect. This has obsidian, just gotta get my diamond axe out and oh, hey cool, there's some stuff right in here. I can't believe I've never seen this before. Oh, oh, oops, my bad. I'll break some of this crying obsidian too, it's pretty. Okay, I think I can leave the rest of this here because I have 16 obsidian and that should do it. I'll put some of our extra items in here. Oh, and this one goes in the treasure chest. Okay, there we go, an enchanting table. Oh, I'm so excited to finally have enchants. And of course, we'll need some bookcases to go along with that. Oh, maybe a few more. All right, well, I've got 36 levels, so I suppose now I just need a place to put this enchanting table. I kind of feel like the place where we do our enchantment should be somewhere special, not a simple place like a barn or a starter house, but something else. Maybe this island over here would be perfect for the job. We'll just need a little bridge here. And then we can do all our enchanting out here on this rock. It's got the perfect view of my empire. This'll do. We'll just plop that right there. There, is that level 30? It is, perfect. I've got two to spare, we'll save those. All right, our first enchant, let's give it a shot. Oh, just efficiency four. <sighs> Son, you're no luck today. That's okay. I popped a little chest out here so we could store some stuff, and we also definitely need a grindstone. I mean, some enchants are just not really worth keeping. Sorry, pickaxe. Let's try again. Oh, we rolled silk touch. That's so useful. This is perfect. Oh, thank you, son. I forgive you. This little enchanting setup on the rocks is perfect. Only thing I need now is to decorate it with something. And we'll also need a path to it, of course. Oh, uh, gotta sleep. Sleep. Nailed it. I'll just fix up a little bit of the terrain. In order to make a bridge, we're definitely gonna need some more spruce. Luckily, this giant tree grew. I've taken the time to smooth out this lovely little path that connects down here and can either go to our dock area and eventual ports, and also over here where I think we'll do a little bridge. I imagine after all, if we had ships coming in, they would come from this much deeper canal rather than this one. So I think a bridge here would work. Some of the sugar cane will have to move. And I think we'll connect it from this level right here. I want it to just have a simple curve so that our basic chest boats and things could still go under. This, honestly, seems like it would work. Also making some quick deep slate slabs because I think they would look great as a border. Then some simple support beams on either side. 
This seems like a pretty good shape for a bridge. Now all we gotta do is add a little bit of railing. So here is our bridge and it's full glory, getting us from one side to the other perfectly. And there's something very important about this update that I wanna show you. Look at this. You can waterlog leaves now. This used to not be a thing, at least not on Java Edition. So now we can have so much prettier waterways with leaves all throughout them. This is fantastic news. <laughs> and this bridge looks absolutely beautiful, if I do say so myself. Wait, what is that? Huh? Do you... Do you... Do you think I should go look at it? Seems like it's calling me. Why is it calling me towards this cave? Huh? Hello? Whoa. Ouch! Hey. This is my lore. Get out of here. Hey, look! There's another. And a banner. Is this what it's leading me to? This place is pretty spooky. Let's see. I wonder if this is meant to be the banner of my empire. It looks right. It looks very sunny. And a little dark. Right, uh, let's get out of this spooky cave, shall we? Let's go ahead and make a few copies of it. Here we go. Ah, it's beautiful. <laughs> like it's meant for my empire. Maybe the wisps are onto something. Maybe they're leading me to something. Something important. I know what I need to do now. I feel like I'm definitely on the right path. We need to let everyone know what this place stands for and to let them know about the sun. And I'm going to do that by building a lighthouse right out there on the rocks. Just gonna need a little stone for this mission. Okay, after a little bit of mining with my silk touch, we have a little bit of stone and hopefully everything that we need. I just remembered as well, we also have a mending book. We got this from Sausage along with the goat horn. I'll uh, cut to that clip now. <laughs> oh, hey Sausage. Hello, you look like you were dazed off looking into the future. Yeah, I was. I was just thinking about all this oh, wool. So nice. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, what a lovely array of colors too. Yeah, sunset. Or sunrise, totally depending on which yeah. direction you're facing. It's... It's... It's noon. Yeah. It's noon. I need honeycomb. So yeah, badly. honeycomb. Oh, I got honeycomb. Don't worry. Oh! Oh, gimme, 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 gimme! Wait. Is this a trade? Yeah! Of course it's a trade! I got stuff for you, but you know what? I got something also very, very awesome you can have as well. Really? Ready? Okay. Watch this. I got one today. It took me only 14 hours to get it. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> I got a horn, Jen. I got two of them, and they're the same one. You can have one, too. Wait. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is our Alliance official horn, okay? Don't let anybody else use this. Okay. <laughs> it's perfect. So okay. Cool. There you go. Hello, over here, here, that, you know, something uh, even more valuable, mending. Mending. You know, I don't even have an anvil yet, but that's perfect. I'm sure I'll be able to use oh. that. Yes, it's fine. You, once you get one, just make sure whenever we do any trade, you need to blow the horn, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the coolest horn I like it. Our alliances are strong, and this empire is going to be even stronger. I didn't just close the door in my face. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go build this lighthouse so that everybody knows that my empire is here. I absolutely love this rocky spot out here. It kind of reminds me of Newfoundland, where I'm from. We have very rocky coasts here, and they often do have lighthouses on them. So I'm going to pull a little bit of inspiration from that, although this is not going to be a modern lighthouse. It's going to be fairly rustic and medieval looking, hopefully. I'm hoping we can sort of build it into this cliff. Of course, with it being the base of a lighthouse, I think we'll start off in this sort of rough circular shape. I think this could end up being pretty cool. I'm gonna get a furnace over here in this little work area because I think some cracked stone bricks would look epic and you put those in a furnace. Some mossy blocks would also look really awesome in the texturing here, but unfortunately, I don't really have any of those. But when we get some, we can definitely make it look mossy. Oh, uh, sunset sleep. Ah, morning, sun. Okay, here's some of our cracked stone brick. 
Okay, the cracked stone brick definitely makes a big difference. I like that. Yep, that's looking pretty good so far. Everyone, I think it's time lapse time. <laughs> Let's build this thing. Well, I think I did it. I think that is a beautiful lighthouse if I've ever seen one. Now we just have to work on the finishing details, right sheeps? One of the very important things that this lighthouse is definitely missing is a big banner. Of course, we have our little banner that we found in the cavern, but I also want a big version of it right there. So we just need some fences. Perfect. And then a bunch of wool to build them out of. Hopefully this will be a good size for a banner. I think it'll work. We just have to make it look like it's flowing in the wind. Importantly, in a Minecraft build where there's no wind, this also decides the direction of the wind for us. And I think I'm gonna have the wind going inland that way. So off of the ocean in towards the mountain valley. That looks pretty good, I think. And while we're up here, how about we also just put in some quick stained glass windows. I think yellow stained glass windows work so well for this theme. I'm so impressed with it. Maybe just some little window details as well. Yeah, why not? Yep. That's pretty good, if I do say so myself. It just needs a couple of maybe like barrels and things around this area it would make it look a lot better. I think that looks pretty good. It's a little bit more rustic down at the bottom now. There's things laying out around like you would need for work out here. It's perfect. Of course, it's also got a campfire up at the top to indicate to any ships coming in that there's a big jagged rocks here. Very important. Now, I haven't exactly decided what I want the interior to look like, but we have a basic sort of floor, and we could just scatter around some barrels and things in here, and of course, the main function will be this enchanting room. I feel like while we're in here, I should probably take a second and just do some basic level one enchants on some of this armor. After all, it could save my life someday, you never know. I want to definitely take a second and decorate my lovely lighthouse out there. So I'm just going to grab some quick flowers so that we can put them on the inside. And of course, if we're having flowers, we'll need some pots. Now let's go ahead and give this interior some love. I'm going to create a carpet here, but I think I'm going to do it with some regular wool as well, just to add a little bit of interest to it and some shape. So you get that little bit of depth in the rug, and I really like that. I'm never exactly sure what I'm doing on an interior, but I've gotten sort of okay at just winging it. Honestly, if you just spend enough time and put enough details into something, it sort of just ends up working out. Now, uh, this space is a little awkward. I think we're just gonna shove these books backwards a bit. Yeah, this looks a little cleaner, I think. This might be weird, but I'm gonna just happily mix in some birch here. Let it be a little rustic. Why not? All it needs now is a lantern, and this room is complete, I think. This is so pretty. I would happily come in here and do my enchanting. And then we've got sort of some simple workstations throughout the lighthouse, sleeping quarters upstairs, and we exit simply through here and can walk home. I like it. I'm happy with this area. You know what? Maybe it's time we finally get a name for this place. I mean, it's got three structures now, a barn, a house, and a lighthouse. And I feel like it is fate that I landed here since we have those banners now. Maybe that's a sign. It's time to make it official, everyone. I would like to name this empire Dawn. Dawn like the sunrise that rises over the ocean over here. Now, uh, I know this name probably overlaps with some other names in literature, but I like it. I like it for my little Minecraft empire, so I'm gonna have it. It's gonna be called Dawn. Simple as that. I suppose it is, after all, the dawn of a new empire. Mm, they can have several meanings. It's very smart of me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, with that, everyone, I do think that's all for this episode. Thank you so much for all the support. I hope that you're enjoying this empire. I'm so proud of our little empire of dawn with our farms and our bees and now our brilliant lighthouse. Of course, we're going to have lots more still to do, so stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!